Starting a print-on-demand business on its own can seem like something that is very intimidating and let alone then when you discover the idea that you have to create designs, that's usually where most people stop or they stop trying because it seems like such a task. And so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how you can create designs that will actually sell on your products using some different hacks that even if you are a complete beginner or you have no design experience, these will be able to help you out. And honestly, with print on demand, especially if you're selling on a platform like Etsy, design is really big. And if you don't have good designs, odds are you are not going to make sales on your products. That's just the truth. So hopefully Hopefully this video helps you. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Mac. I post videos talking about e-commerce, passive income, and different ways to make money online and all things Etsy. So if that interests you, I would love to have you as a part of our community here on YouTube. So today I wanna to focus on designing with AI and using templates. Now don't get intimidated by AI because I'm gonna show you a really great feature on a design app that I use and really love. And with templates, they're just a golden bone structure for you to really design with without having that prior knowledge of where things are supposed to go. Often with designs that do really well, even when they're just text-based, it's about the way that the design moves and our eyes view it. And if you're not a designer or you don't have prior experience, that can just seem like you just don't know where to put things. And so just using a template can make things so much easier. And also with AI, being able to type in a prompt into an app and it creates exactly what you're envisioning for you is just beyond amazing. And I'm really grateful that we have a lot of AI designing available to us now. So I'm gonna share with you the AI and design templates on an app called Kittle. And I do have a special link for you where you can get a free trial and some AI to check it out. So that is in the description for you. And it's really easy to set up an account on. So I know that I want to design maybe a t-shirt or a tote bag. So I went on to Etsy and I was just doing a little bit of design research so I could get some inspiration so that when I'm scrolling through the design templates on Kittle, I kind of know what direction I want to go in. And during my research, I was noticing for a lot of the um, silly goose era. It's a specific trend that's going on right now. There's a lot of like animals with funny sayings. So here's an example of one of them it has like a raccoon. It says I have 99 problems. Getting me a treat may help. Um, but this type of style just seems to be doing really well. And I want to kind of recreate and design something off of that because another thing that does really well on Etsy is actually retro designs. So I kind of have an idea to work with this type of idea, but doing a retro design. So I'm to show you how I would do that and what I would do on Kittle. So right on the front page here, they have a bunch of different templates for different things. You can either go through all of them or you can search through t-shirts, hoodies and sweatshirts. Um, even, they do have tote bags as well, posters, mugs, all of that. And when you click on one of them and you scroll down, you can go over to refine by the style or you can just keep it as is to kind of get an idea for all the different designs that you could do. And I really love this because as I was saying, if you don't have a design background, putting in the text and where to put the different elements on top of that can just be difficult. So having something to really keep that style that you were searching for makes it much, much easier. So I want to design a tote bag and I'm going to go with this template here and we're just going to play around with it and I'll show you what I mean. So right off the bat here, I know that I don't want to design something with frogs, but I have an overall idea of where a placement of an image should go, how the text can be curved, and different color palettes if I do want to stay with that. And what I love about Kittle too is if I type directly into here, into the template, watch this, it holds the shape of where that original path was designed. So instead of you having to go and redo it or recurve it, there's a lot of different types of ways that you can bend the text. So like there's flag that can you can manually do it and all of that, depending on the style that you're going with. But if you use a template, it's so much easier to just be able to type a different word in there. Like regardless of what word you type, it'll still follow that path. So it's really cool. I really like that about Kittle. So I just changed the text to some text that I wanna work with. And y'all please excuse that typo I made. I I'm so embarrassed by that. I went back and fixed it later, but unfortunately this entire video has a typo on that word. And yeah, I'm so sorry about that. So I'm gonna delete all these mushrooms here, but keeping in mind where they were. So now I just have the text, a background and a few graphics, and I'm gonna bring in a raccoon. So I just typed raccoon into the elements and you can grab elements from in here. So let's say I wanted to use this one. I could put this in here and start designing with that, but I'm not really finding one 
with the exact image style that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the AI tool, which is down here. And I'm just gonna type, I want a cute raccoon. And then I'm gonna choose my image style. And you can keep generating this until you get exactly what you want. You can even change the different text um, on there to get something more specific. Like if we wanted a specific color or whatnot, that's how we would do that. And then I like this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the background and see how I'm keeping the overall idea of the template. Like I'm not changing it so, so much to where you don't recognize the template, but I'm keeping it there, but I'm also just changing it enough to go with my design. And then let's say we wanna change the color. There's a great feature down here called project colors. If you click this button, it'll show you a bunch of different color palettes that you can play with and check that out. So you really can just like mess around with this and completely change the design. And there's really so many different ways to get creative with this. See how I'm like just adding in the different elements over here to add some eyes and it completely changes the look of the design. But it's so easy to create this because I didn't have to physically draw anything. I literally used AI and I used a template. And right there, I just created a brand new design in literally seconds. So once my design is done, all I have to do is download it. And I just make sure that I select remove background and then I can download that design. And I have the rights to use this on a print on demand product because all of the Kittle elements um, and fonts and graphics are approved for print on demand. Then I can just go over to Printify and select the product that I want. And and just drag and drop that design directly onto my artboard. And it's already sized correctly too, which is great. Um, the DPI is good, has to be 330 DPI and this one's actually high res. So that's like really good for print on demand and I can check it out. And then just like that, I have a design for a print on demand product. And you can honestly just keep repeating this exact process. And it may take you a little bit of time to kind of get the vision of what you're trying to do. Sometimes I create multiple designs and only use, you know, one or two of them, but it's just an overall idea of being able to use these templates because it makes it so much easier. And then if you want to bring in that extra AI to make it a little bit more different than what someone else would use for the template. But honestly, Kittle's really great. Not a lot of people are utilizing all the features on it yet, though so you do have an advantage if you do design with these templates so trust me on that one and they're much more intricate and easy to use than other design apps that i have experienced but you can kind of see here just the overall ideas and things that you can create with that and with so many different types of templates as well as i said kittle will be linked in the description definitely utilize different ways of designing that can make it easier for you a lot of the times people tend to overthink designing because as i said in the beginning it is so so important but there really are ways that you can still be successful with print on demand without having to spend tons of hours on your design it's like the saying work smarter not harder when we do have these things available to us because i know that not everybody is a pro designer a little bit of a story here that i can tell you is that one of my best selling designs on my very first etsy shop was literally four words of text wavy text with a gradient on it and it made me thousands of dollars and it was literally just text but it was about the optimized listing and the way that I was marketing it and how I recreated something that was already on the market, but made it better. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about this or if you have suggestions for other sellers, I'm sure they would love to see those below. And let me know if you're gonna check out Kittle and it is in the description for you below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.